We traveled to Denver, Colorado in the summer of 2008 to cover the Democratic National Convention. One reason we wanted to go to Denver was to document the phenomenon of agent provocateurs. All over the world and in the United States, police had recently been caught dressing up like protesters and causing disturbances in front of news cameras to demonize the people's right to protest. Being activist journalists, we also wanted to protest the fact that the controlled corporate media was putting issues like the war on Iraq, the 9-11 cover-up, and the loss of liberties in the United States on the back burner. MSNBC was happy to have hundreds of Obama worshippers mindlessly screaming his name. But when we called for 9-11 to be investigated as a false flag attack, MSNBC staff and Obama fanatics got violent. by terrorists, uh, that that's not what happened. And in fact, uh, George W. Bush was sitting somewhere in the White House basement with one of these and plungers, and he blew up those buildings. Uh, that's what these people believe. They are truly crazy people. Just so you know, we're not uh, muffling intelligent dissent here. Our entire crew were punched, kicked, and scratched over and over again. Our cameramen, who were not even talking, were assaulted for just being there. We weren't even talking about Obama, but it didn't matter. Nothing could be allowed to get in the way of his worship. It's MSNBC that's attacking the equipment. Keep guys around us. Make sure we're all safe. Have the whole crowd, whole cameras always around us. That's the key thing about here, not to get hurt. Let's wait till they go live and let's take it over. Listen, we got two bullhorns. I make it the little bullhorn stand on his shoulders, go all the way down there. We got the big bullhorn already in front. People all over us moving the bottom of the bullhorn, and, and I freaked out that they didn't beat you guys up. Listen, we're going to surround whoever's got a bullhorn. Yeah, listen, I'll be on your shoulder. We're going to roll to the bullhorn. We have to make a bullhorn here, but we have to stay a little bit back so we can keep up. In the end, they couldn't stop us. 20 minutes after MSNBC employees slashed the cord of our bullhorn, backup arrived. This is America! Okay, 9-11! Yep. Talk about the truth behind 9-11! Why don't you talk about the victim's family members unanswered questions? It's 9-11! 9-11 was an anti-terrorist attack! Why don't you talk about the victim's family members unanswered questions? It's 9-11! Let's keep it 
Ago. He reported on it two weeks ago. The uh, Cy Hirsch report about wanting to have Navy SEALs attack larger right, naval vessels. That we're here because the rest of them won't cover it, and MSNBC people came out and assaulted us. But yes, because Keith Oberman has reported on stage terror, I am going to leave. I am going to leave. Yeah. Keith Oberman has covered the false flag terror, so we're going to respect him as real media. In a meeting in the vice president's office, members of the administration sat around brainstorming ideas to provoke a war with Iran. Quote, the one that interested me the most was, why don't we build, we in our shipyard, build four or five boats that look like Iranian PT boats, put Navy SEALs on them with a lot of arms, and the next time one of our boats goes to the Straits of Hormuz, start a shoot-up. Might cost some lives, and it was rejected because you can't have Americans killing Americans. That's the kind of, that's the level of stuff we're talking about. Product but that was rejected. Denver was a real circus. There were as many as 15 simultaneous protests going on in different parts of the city. We got report after report of police dressed up like anarchists attacking other police as a pretext to go after peaceful crowds. Though we had our own suspicions, we were unable to confirm that fact. Weeks later, the police admitted that they had indeed staged violent attacks against their own officers in an attempt to justify their oppressive police actions. 